Hi guys, Mr. Johnny here. In this short video I will do an experiment of measuring the resistance of the track on this board, which is a board which I kind of showed you in a previous video. It's a board for my smart drill controller. It is assembled now. I, I just didn't put one trim pot there. It's an idle speed control. I just put a resistor over there. Because I'm completely happy with 2.7 volts on the motor, I see no reason of putting a trim pot there because I want and because I ain't gonna use it. I might even end up replacing this trim pot with two resistors. We'll see. You can see the board. There is a resistor. Oh, there is a, this track, which carries current from the source of the MOSFET. Source of the MOSFET is here. It's, there is a resistor here, this shunt. So the current goes from here and over, all the way over here. And I soldered a little bit of wire there. I'm gonna hook the power supply close to the joints and I'm gonna take a measurement with millivolt meter on the ends of these wires. And we'll see what we'll get. Okay. Here you can see a meter, a meter here shows the current through the track and this will be a voltmeter. So, wait a second, I'm gonna hook it up. Oh. So I'm measuring the resistance of that current carrying track. You can see the current and if we take a measurement we see 24.25 milliamps and 985 milli, milli oh 20 25 millivolts and the current is 0 0.94 so 25 millivolts over 0.94 the resistance as you can see since the current is very close to 1 amp I could have got with just saying that the I mean, drop here is a drop in milliohms but I went and calculated it anyway it's 25.4 milliohms the resistance of this track now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go solder this piece of tin copper wire to it and we'll see how much it's gonna improve it All right, now you can see that zoom. God damn it, I said focus. You can see that there is a wire soldered to the track. Now let's do the same experiment and see what the result will be. Okay, 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 okay. let's hook up the power supply. Positive over here. Still have the meter there. Oh boy. Wow. Are you kidding me? Holy smoke. I mean like, wow. <laughs> I honestly did not expect that. <laughs> I mean like, kidding? Are you kidding me? Probably it is. It probably hits up a little bit. That's why it goes up. Me touching it does not change it because I'm high impedance part, and the voltage is too low to cause enough enough current flow. So I do not affect the measurement holding it. So you can see it's about four point, let's say five millivolts, and nine hundred and eighty milliamps. Hope you can see the meter. So 5 millivolts over 980 amps, so 0.98 amps. Wow, now it's 5 milliohms. Previously it was 25 milliohms, now it's 5 milliohms. We improved that 5 times. Now this track has 
one fifth of its re of its previous resistance. That's quite a significant improvement, if you ask me. It doesn't look too bad, considering the. Let me get you closer. Here you can see that it's just a piece of wire soldered to the track. Nothing fancy at all. I'm quite surprised with the result. I did expect improvement, but five times, come on. So that's it. It's always now is to make a little experiment which then makes you think that pre your previous designs were not as good as you thought they are. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.